It is a very special day here at home with Anita Rosner because today is Fluffy's 13th birthday. She's such a big girl now. So I wanted to do something really special for her because we love her so much. We love you so much. So today I'm gonna to show you how to make homemade dog treats. If you've ever made cutout cookies, you'll be able to make these. They're very simple and uh, they have very few ingredients. We're gonna start with a half a cup of a mashed sweet potato. I just cooked it in the microwave and mashed it with a fork. You can use um, canned pumpkin if you prefer. They're both equally as good and equally as digestible for your pooch. Then I have two eggs. I'm gonna add that in. And a third cup of peanut butter and you have to use all natural peanut butter. You don't want any chemicals or additives in these cookies because your dog might not react well to them, but all natural peanut butter, no problem. All right, now we're just gonna mix these wet ingredients. And it's gonna look like this once it's combined. And it's a little bit lumpy, but that's not a problem, okay? Then we are just going to dump in our two cups of flour. Fold that in. Once the dough is combined, you're gonna turn it out onto a floured work surface. I didn't flour this because it's a silpat sheet and it shouldn't stick, but the dough is very sticky. So before I roll it out, I'm just gonna flour the top a little bit. You're gonna roll it out to about a quarter of an inch, a quarter of an inch to half an inch. I didn't use any leavening agent, so these are not gonna rise. They're gonna basically stay the size that they are. And now I'm gonna cut them out with these cute little hearts because my heart belongs to Fluffy. As you can see, this is actually a very easy dough to work with. Look, it's coming right up. Cookies are holding their shape. The treats, the treats I should say. Look at that. And then I can get another batch out of here. Now I'm going to bake these in a 350 oven for about half an hour. I'm gonna check them at 30 minutes, but if the centers are still a little bit soft, I will bake them for an additional five minutes because I want them to be crunchy. Well, my elves have swooped in and cleaned up my mess. <laughs> uh, the cookies are out of the oven and they are cooling on a wire rack. Make sure they are completely cool before you give them to your dog. Couple of things. While you're making them, if you find that your dough is too dry, just warm up some peanut butter in the microwave, a couple of tablespoons, and that should take care of that. These are fit for human consumption, so if you see your toddler face first in the dog treats, do not panic, it's totally fine. And lastly, pumpkin and sweet potato could potentially have a laxative effect on your dog. So unless you're looking for excitement, I would limit these to one a day. So as soon as these are done cooling, we'll give one to the birthday girl and see what she has to say. Would you like a cookie? Yeah, want a cookie? She likes it. She definitely likes it.